Hello good people of the internet, this is UI Corner with Jay, I'm Joseph, I'm a part-time vlogger and a full-time front-end developer and today I want to discuss about uh, my older plugin that I developed in the past, it's called Image Friendly Accordion uh, in Squarespace and I revisited it after I got a lot of comments from you guys and uh, improved it and I definitely added some complexity to this plugin so you can do much more with it. Okay, anyway, without any further ado, let's get into it. First and foremost, I will add the JavaScript code into the page. Uh, I won't use the code injection section, I will use the code block section because I don't want to add this to every page, I want to add it only on this page where the accordion is and I like to keep the JavaScript code right beside the affected uh, section, which is the accordion section. So I will create the script tags and I will copy paste my already written code. Everything looks fine, so I will just click outside of the dialog and uh, I will move it down because I don't want to get in in the way while we are working on the accordion so let's just keep some space there I will create accordion uh, section and I will make this uh, full width let's edit the accordion and let's um, get into the first item and edit the content so I will add the text this text will be the alternative text of the image. I will select it and I can add a link to that text and I will, instead of web address, I will select the file menu. And as you can see, I already uploaded some uh, uh, media files. I will choose the image, the JPEG file and it's very important to hit the apply button and then save the workspace and finally exit uh, the editor mode and get to the view mode as, as you can see everything is working as planned the link turn into an image and um, it looks okay and besides that it's also responsive so it will never bleed out of the screen it's always in the boundaries of the viewport okay let's uh, let's get back and edit the accordion and uh, go into the second item here we will create a placeholder text because we are not using this text anywhere, it's just a placeholder to be able to select it and add a link on it. And we will use again the file menu and I will add the mp4 video file, apply it of course, and now we save the workspace and go to the view mode again. And as you can see the video is looking good it has controls you can stop and play maximize and mute and unmute it okay now we can go to the third item of the accordion and we will add a placeholder text again doesn't matter what it's not used anyway so we'll add the link and now instead of file we will add a web address URL and this will be a URL from the YouTube um, generator that generates us um, an embed uh, URL so let's go there let's find a uh, video on my channel I will I will take this one, the first video of this channel and let's uh, find the share button for some reason I don't see it where is it, oh there it is, okay and then hit the embed take the source, you could you could probably take it from the first um, window 
before hitting the embed uh, icon but anyway uh, let's paste it here save it and yeah now we can uh, apply and try it out how does the embedded YouTube video looks like in our accordion looks good everything's fine it also works so it's functional okay so now we have uh, also a video and we have also an image but the image is not clickable maybe you want to have also a clickable version so uh, we can and I want to show how does the HTML looks like by the way in the source code so let's try to find the actual uh, HTML tags so there it is image and uh, you can see the alternative text the coffee that coffee text that we added and there is the max width 100% that before you need to add uh, additionally now it's included in the plugin so you don't need to work on that part now let's go to the second item the video and you can see there is a video tag with a source tag mp4 is uh, supported on most of the browsers so there is no problem with that and the third one is the embedded video which is an iframe tag everything is fine it also has an aspect ratio of 16 with 9 so it will always be a landscape um, aspect ratio okay now we can go back and edit we want to add a link on this uh, image so in order to do that as you can see it's already a link so uh, linking a link is not possible so you cannot embed a link in another link but uh, what I created is um, you can add brackets and inside of the brackets you can add the URL of the link let me zoom in in order for you to see what I'm doing here so there is this there are those brackets and now I write the URL I'm adding the YouTube link it's very important to keep in mind that the bracket text should not be in the link as you can see everything works it goes to the YouTube page so you can also add a link that will open in a new tab for this we go back to the settings of the links and to the file and on the bottom as you can observe that there is an open a new window option you check that option let's go back and test it apply save and oh, I need to save it first and let's click on it and as you can see on the top a new tab appears that's going to the YouTube homepage now uh, the scenario that remains is we can also add captions to the image and videos and in order to do that we we will just edit the item and we will just continue writing text so I just wrote here my coffee is so good and um, everything looks fine so I will just save it test it again of course and something is broken so 
what happened um, and this is good that this happened because I have to explain something score space keeps entangling text that comes after a link because sometimes it thinks this is still the link you can observe that there is an underline on the bracket uh, text so we'll just link click the link and remove that link uh, assignment from it and now we save and go back and everything looks fine the text on the right is 50% and the image is also 50% so it's 50-50 in the layout department and we can also add the text on the left of the image we just uh, let's just uh, cut from cut it from here and put paste it on the left of the link add the space after it let's check if something got entangled but everything looks okay and uh, yeah it's it's it looks normal so everything's fine we can also uh, take out the link from the image and this way we just have a caption text on one of its side and and the image and that's it and we can also add a caption to the video we do it in the same way everything looks fine save it try it out and there you have the text on the right of it and of, of course you can edit on the left of it so no problem now we can take out the link from that image so we need to edit it again and what we will do is just remove the bracket text save it and and you will see that it still works yeah well that's about it and thank you for listening and please feel free to ask any questions in the future so just put a comment and i will try to answer it as soon as possible